Hi again, I'm continuing a sonnet a day inspired by Patrick Stewart's reading of a Shakespearean sonnet each day. I'll be reading a gospel sonnet by Ralph Erskine. We're now in chapter 6, section 4. An advice to sinners to apply to the sovereign mercy of God, as it is discovered through Christ, to the highest honor of justice and other divine attributes, in order to further their faith in him unto salvation. I hope you enjoy. Go, friend, and at Jehovah's footstool bow. Thou knowest not what a sovereign God may do. Confess, if he commiserate thy case, t'will be an act of powerful sovereign grace. Sequestrate carefully some solemn hours to sue thy grand concern in secret bowers. Then in the ensuing strain to God import, and pour into his bosom all thy heart. O glorious, glorious, powerful, sovereign Lord, thy help unto a sinful worm afford, who, from my wretched birth to this sad hour, have still been destitute of will and power, to close with glorious Christ, yea, filled with spite, at thy fair darling and thy saint's delight, resisting all his grace with all my might, come, Lord, and sap my enmity's strong tower. O oh, haste the marriage day, the day of power, that sweetly by resistless grace inclined, my once reluctant be a willing mind. Thou spakest to being everything we see, when thy almighty will said, let it be. Nothing's to being in a moment pass. Let there be light, thou sayest, and so it was. A powerful word like this, a mighty call, must say, let there be faith, and then it shall. Thou seekest my faith, and flight from sin and guilt. Give what thou seekest, Lord, then seek what thou wilt. What good can issue from a root so ill? This heart of mine's a wicked lump of hell. T'will all thy common motion still resist, unless with special drawing virtue blessed. Thou calls, but will the call thy power convey, command me to believe, and I'll obey. N nor any more thy gracious call gainsay, command, O Lord, effectually command, and grant I be not able to withstand. Then powerless I will stretch with withered hand, I to thy favor can pretend to claim, but what is borrowed from thy glorious name, which thou most justly thou mayst glorify, in damning such a guilty wretch as me, a faggot fitted for the burning fire of thine incensed everlasting ire. Yet, Lord, since now I hear thy glorious Son, in favor of a race that was undone, did in thy name, by thy authority, once to the full stern justice satisfy, and paid more glorious tribute thereunto than hell and all its torments ever do. Since my salvation through his blood can raise, a revenue to justice highest praise, higher than rents, which hell forever pays, these to tremendous justice never bring, a satisfaction equal and condign. But Jesus, our once dying God, performs what never could by ever dying worms. Since thus thy threatening law is honored more than ever my sins affronted it before, since justice stern may greater glory won by justifying it, thy darling son. Then by condemning even the rebel me, to this divine wisdom, lo, I flee. Let justice, Lord, according to thy will, be glorified with glory great and full. Now in hell, where justice petty pay, is but extorted parcels minced for a, but glorified in Christ, who down has told the total sum at once in liquid gold. In lowest hell... Lo, praise is only one, but justice has the highest in thy Son, the Son of Righteousness that set in red, to show the glorious morning would succeed. In him then save thou me from sin and shame, and to the highest glorify thy name, since this bright scene thy glory all express, and grace as impress reigns through righteousness. Since mercy fair runs in a crimson flood, and vents through justice satisfying blood, not only then for mercy's sake I sue, but for the glory of thy justice too. And since each letter of thy name divine has in fair Jesus' face the brightest shine, this glorious husband be forever mine, on this strong argument so sweet, so blessed. With thy allowance, Lord, I must insist. Great God, since thou allowest unworthy me to make thy glorious name my humble plea, no glory worthy of it wilt thou gain by casting me into the burning main. My feeble back can never suit the load that speaks thy name, a sin-revenging God. Scarce would the name seem a consuming fire upon a worm unworthy of thine ire. But see, the worthy lamb, thy chosen priest, with justice burning glass against his breast, 
contracting all the beams of venging wrath. As in their center till he burnt to death, vengeance can never be so much proclaimed by scattered beams among the millions damned. Then, Lord, in him, to me, the uttermost save, and thou shalt glory to the highest have, glory to wisdom that contrived so well, glory to power that bore and buried hell, glory to holiness which sin defaced, with sinless service now divinely graced. Glory to justice, sword that flaming stood, now drunk to pleasure with atoning blood. Glory to truth that now in scarlet clad has sealed both threats and promises with red. Glory to mercy now in purple streams, so sweetly gliding through the divine flames. Of other once offended, now exalted names, each attribute conspires with joint embrace to show its sparkling graze in Jesus' face and thus to deck the crown of matchless grace. But to thy name in hell never can it cure the thousandth part of this great rev revenue. O ravishing contrivance, light that blinds, cherubic gazers and seraphic minds, they pry into the deep and love to learn what yet should vastly more be my concern. Lord, once my hope more reasonless could dream of heaven, without regard to thy great name. But here is laid my lasting hope to found, a highly rational, a divine ground. Tis reasonable, I expect, thou that'll take. The way that most will for thine honor make. Is this the plan, Lord? Let me build my claim to life on this high glory of thy name. Nor let my faithless heart or think or say, that all this glory shall be thrown away in my perdition, which will never raise to thy great name so vast a rent of praise. O oh, then a rebel into favor take, Lord, shield and save me for thy glory's sake. My endless ruin is not worth the cost that so much glory be forever lost. I'll of the greatest sinner bear the shame to bring the greatest glory to thy name. Small loss. Though I should perish endless days, but thousand pities grace should lose the praise. O oh, hear, Jehovah, get the glory then, and to my supplication say amen. Thanks for listening. I will see you next time, Lord willing, and have a great rest of your evening.